from hikes to autumn festivities, there are so many fun activities to enjoy with our pets during the fall season. And while seasons may change, there's one thing that doesn't, and that's the risk of fleas and ticks. Joining us now is renowned veterinarian and pet advocate, Dr. Lisa Lippman. She's teamed up with the number one selling non-prescription flea and tick brand, Soresto, to share some advice on protecting our dogs and cats this season. So Dr. Lippman, great to see you. I know that now that these temperatures have cooled off quite a bit, why should we still protect our pets from ticks and fleas? Yeah, thanks for having me, Pete. So I always say I think fleas and ticks are going to take over the world. They carry more and more disease every year. They're really hard to kill. Uh, certainly, we're all aware of, uh, you know, Lyme disease, but in reality, that's one of thousands of tick-borne diseases. And so they can have really devastating health consequences, and it's really important to be protected um, for both you and your pets. Now, what about the notion, I know some people maybe think that fleas and ticks mainly affect dogs and cats in rural areas and not urban homes and backyards. Is there any truth to that? Well, I love dispelling this myth because as a practicing veterinarian in New York City for almost 10 years, I can tell you how upset my clients are when they come in with fleas or ticks. So really nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, I removed a tick from my neighbor's golden retriever, Harvey, last night. All right, so what is the best way to protect our pets during the fall and winter seasons? Well, I just love the Soresto collar. I use it on my own dog. You can see in everything that I do. It lasts for eight continuous months. It's really easy to use. And I really love that the fleas and ticks don't have to bite, meaning they don't have to attach in order to die. They're repelled and killed through contact. And so this way you don't have that scary tick where you don't know what to do. You don't know how to remove it. You don't have to make that trip to the veterinarian or hope that you have a neighbor vet friend to remove it. Well, that certainly makes it easy enough. And again, I know you touched on this, but why should we be, be more concerned about these type of pests? Well, again, you know, the, the health consequences are just one piece of it, but the cost related to having to flea bomb your house, to having treatment, having to go back and forth to the vet, and the time toxicity that it takes, right? So um, there's so much to worry about, and again, it's so important to be protected. It is for sure. And where can folks watching go for more information? For more information, you'll want to visit fallpetlist.com or soresto.com. All right, sounds good. Well, Dr. Lippman, thanks again for talking with us today. All right, thanks for having me.